Hey, we should be live. Back. Gonna play a little more Wilds of Eldraine Limited. See how that goes for me. Slide the chair in a bit more. Hey, let's do this thing. I am the last one to join. But I did hit ready, so for all of you that are in this draft, that are wondering when that last person to join was going to push ready, I already did. It is not me. Okay. What do we have? Well, we have Doubling Season. It's a very interesting card to try and build around in pack one. If this were paper, I would be taking Doubling Season because it's a money card. But since it's not, um, Raging Battle Mouse has been better than I anticipated. Um,. Like, I got too caught up on the celebration only giving one of my creatures plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's actually the fact that the second spell you cast each turn is one cheaper that is way more relevant to the Battle Mouse. Um, the card I most like in this pack is Collector's Vault. And it is the card I'm most inclined to take. Uh, when you have Collector's Vault and your opponent doesn't, if they are not absolutely smashing you, you're going to win the game. And it is one of my favorite cards, if not my favorite card in the set, so I'm going to take that and hope that my opponents don't open Rough Trio and get that doubling season, then I have to play against them sometime during the draft. Alright. Candy Grapple. Probably my most drafted card from this set kills mostly anything. There are a few creatures that are naturally out of range of it, but even those tend to die to it by getting into combat. So... It's just very mana efficient compared to the other removal in the set. Uh, Cut-in is not terrible. Those are the only two cards I'm really seriously considering here are the two removal spells. So I think we'll just take the candy grapple. Alright. There is a raid bombardment, which if I wanted to do black red. There's also a witch stalker frenzy. Which is an exceptionally good removal spell also. Very similar to Candy Grapple in that it is dealing with almost anything. And can do so at a very efficient mana cost. Yeah, okay. I'm down. Also, we haven't seen, like, any of the really good green creatures that would have gone with a first pick um, doubling season, so I'm not really sad that we passed it. Although, maybe we'll get enough mice that I'll wish I had a doubling season just to set that up. Let's uh, a card, draw two, make a wicked roll. I think I'd rather just have the pack, honestly. Beautiful Griffin, also pretty decent. Stopgap is fine, but I like the cards I already have, so I'm down to take an edge wall pack now. Hmm, Daredevil, Unruly Catapult. Most of my things are instant, so Unruly Catapult. Hello, Reno. Welcome back. Could just take the Conceited Witch, though. She's been very consistent with Menace, and we already have the Edgewall pack, too, so... That's a lot of frustration for our opponents to have to try and block. Yeah, I can see taking the Witch over the Catapult, despite having started with a reasonable number of instants and sorceries. Uh, one one that dies into a one one or three one that dies into a food both useful I think though with what we already have I will take the spear guard and see if we can go full rats hmm. 
Ooh, a torch to the tower. Ah, come on, people. Collector's Vault is better than a seventh pick. I first picked it, but then again, I'm weird like that. Second pack, first rat out. I think I'm doing okay in the removal department. I will take the second one, but we're getting to the part where I would much rather have cheaper cards to apply early pressure. Eh, I'm never a huge fan of these effects. There's also a splashy spellcaster who is not terrible. We have Candy Grapple and Conceited Witch for black. Yeah, I'll take the Spellcaster over a Kindled Heroism that I'm not running. not expecting to wind up blue-red since we didn't take any of the catapults, but there is a world where I do that. <clears throat> and I'm not running the kindled thing. Or whatever it is. The plus one, plus oh, and first strike, scry one trick. <clears throat> but there's literally like five different versions. Yep, nobody I recognize. From there. Alright, no black cards, no blue card, or I'm sorry, one blue card, no red cards. Um, hmm. We don't have any five drops yet, and I already have too many fours. I think I'll just take the candy trail. Although, I do like candy trail a lot better in black green than in black red or blue red. Raid Bombardment, Freeze in Place, and a Coral Smith. Yeah, I think I take the Raid Bombardment with the Edgewall pack so far. I am very surprised Dutiful Griffin is still here. Uh, I think I'm kind of far from that one. Eh. Rather have the Beanstalk Giant. But yeah, I don't think the Spellcaster's making it. Rotisserie Elemental. Not great. Hatching Plans. Johan. Ratcatcher's okay. I have Torch the Tower so far that I could sack a hatching plans to and that's it Johan would not be terrible if I want to stay red black we can take the trainee that would not be bad the root rider fawn which I really like if I'm anywhere near green but all we have is the worm for that um hmm Yeah, I think we take the trainee. Just goes better with what we have so far. Okay, there we go. There's a Taken by Nightmare. Make our black-red a bit more palatable. Alright, we need, like, an Impact Tremors. Or the Twisted Sewer Witch now. Gracious Vermin. I don't think I care about this guy at all, right? Power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. <sighs> He's not unplayable, but I think I would rather just have the rat to go along with my other rats at this point. Either that or the Grim Search to draw extra cards, but I do really like Voracious Vermin in Black Red. 
it's very easy to grow him to a sizable creature. Or at least it has been. Uh, back for seconds. Another candy grapple. No red cards, though. Hey, right. Take a candy grapple. Hope for more good rat-themed cards, though. Yeah. Um, Impact Tremors, Goblin Bombardment would be insane. Um, what else could we get? Yeah, it's harder to think of black cards we could get that would be super cheap. That would go in here, like, that would be reasonable at 5th pick. Like, we're not going to get a 5th pick Bitter Blossom or anything. I guess Vampiric Rites would be ideal. That way we can sack the tokens for value. Basically the same reason I wanted Goblin Bombardment to show up. Uh, Picnic Ruiner... Another Voracious Vermin. We could have had two Root Rider Fawns at this point. And I have been doing pretty good with green as a base. Um, most of my creatures aren't naturally four power. Like, I don't have anybody that's going to start off that way to give this guy double strike. I think I take the second Voracious Vermin. Okay, I'm glad it made it to the pile because I accidentally double clicked there. If I have grabbed a different card instead, I would have been upset. Another spear guard. Need to avoid this thing at all costs. Let's just murder my team. Make me sad inside. Twisted fealty. Barrow naughty. Uh, with no way to sacrifice creatures, I'm a little more inclined to take the barrow naughty since it's an evasive threat. That could peck in for a few points of damage. And I will take the Fell Horseman to get back, like, our pack or a Voracious Vermin. Maybe even Trainee so we could send it back on its adventure. Alright, that wheel, that's absurd. To me, anyway. Like, such a good green card. Um, <clears throat> Warehouse Tabby is okay, but we don't really have the enchantments to trigger it. So, I think I'm gonna take Not Dead after all. <clears throat> There's a minor temptation to actually take the Root Rider and see if we wheel the other one. Um, yeah, none of these are great. There's no uncommons here. Guess we take the genealogist at that point. Um, so yeah, we just kind of want the things that, ooh. Grim Search is real nice as a card draw option, especially since I didn't take anything up until this point like that. I'll take the Sage out of contention. I'm not running either of those. Okay. Uh, whenever a player casts a spell, that player discards a card. There is a Dream Spoilers. Um, how many instants do we have? Seven? Yeah, it seems like enough to seriously consider that then. Over the Ginger Hunter. Oppression. Skewer Slinger. Minecart Daredevil. Yeah, no, I'm down. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think we're going to grab Emo Dane's Recruiter now. It is possible for us to cast the Train the Troops off of um, the Collector's Vault, so that might actually happen with this deck, but also just buffing our team and giving haste seems real good. Second Raid Bombardment. Feed the Cauldron, Shatter the Oath, uh, Sweet Tooth Witch, Bellowing Bruiser. I kind of want the second Raid Bombardment, just as a way to finish our opponents off once we get going. We have a bunch of cheap removal spells that work well with the deck. Also, we get to grab another Frenzy here. I think over the Elemental? Yeah. It's another instant, too, for the Dream Spoilers. Right, I'm gonna take a cheap, aggressive creature now. That's difficult to block because of our Rainbow Bar. There's Impact Tremors! Right next to a second trainee. <clears throat> who would go perfectly with it. Alright. We are going to pull our opponents apart with our impact tremors and our raid bombardments. Mm, we need three cuts. The candy trail can go. Might actually drop Grim Search because of the Collector's Vault. Although the Collector's Vault, the Grim Search is a little more tempting because of the, um, the Dream Spoilers now. Yeah, it's take another instant over the Merry Bards. I don't think I'm running either of them, so... Two more cuts. Forage is not bad at all. But I think I might want the creature that has an instant attached to it. Though I'm not sure I'm running it at this point. Also probably not running this one. We wound up not getting any rat outs. Yeah, again, I'm not running any of these. Put that down in the sideboard. Take the common. Alright, what did I take that actually made it on the list? Because should have room to cut other things. Which, yeah, I'll take that Force Fruition. If I ever get enough of them, I start getting gems for the rares, so... Maybe with the other cheap efficient creatures and the raid bombardments, I don't need the fell horseman anymore. Put that down here. Alright, we're good to go. Let's see if I really need to cut any of my spells, because I do have a fair number of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can probably cut something from down here. I was looking forward to the Collector's Vault, but given the Dream Spoiler Witches, I would rather have the Rowan's Grim Search as an additional way to trigger them. Also, the only thing I would use the treasure on is the Emodane's Recruiter uh, sorcery side. 
Which is not nothing, but... I think we can afford to cut that, and then... I probably still want the recruiter. It is a three mana attacks as a three two haste the turn it comes down, so. Maybe they're not dead. I'm hesitant to cut instance though. Which most of these are. The other thing I could do is cut one of the raid bombardments because I have impact tremors and I don't need all of these at once. But it is awfully tempting, like, casting Harried Spear Guard and attacking with it is the same as a Lightning Bolt while those three are in play, but Shock's probably good enough. I want to actually have creatures to trigger them, so... Cutting another creature seems not the best. Um... Hmm... I mean, it's all right. And our opponent is mulliganed, and we have a decently aggro start. And I'll run out the impact tremors first. Ah, uh, they're gonna play a 4-3. Which is fine, I have the Frenzy for- Oh, they have a Rhystic Study! Okay! Sure... Um... Hmm... Alright, I think I wanna cast the Trainee end of their turn- Or cast the Rats end of their turn, deal them the 2 damage. So here they can have their free card, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that imp or impact tremors. That Rhystic study is gonna mess up my rest of my turn. So. Four down to two. Alright, so we send her on her adventure, target that, pay the one. Oh. But then we're gonna let them draw the card off of this. Yeah, unfortunate. That dies, they take three. We're gonna have to kill them very quickly to undo all of the card advantage that they're getting. I mean, I love seeing that. Instead of developing out to the board. Now, yeah, they can kill my vermin, but that's kind of whatever. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Let's 
Kill that. Pay the one. Kill them two. Cast her, they can draw their card. Deal them another damage. Down to eight. Okay. That kind of sucks, but... They're gonna get us with that eventually anyway, because I just can't... not develop out my board here. Okay. They're getting a ton of mana. If they actually have things to deploy, we're going to be in trouble. I was trying to run them out of life before they could take advantage of all the extra cards I was giving them, but that's very difficult to do. Okay. And kill the Daredevil. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Cast her. Six. They attack with everybody. They take one and I lose one of my creatures. Yeah, it's fine. I'll put them to five. Yep. There it is. Not gonna take much to close this game out, but ah, it's a reach creature and a curse roll on my thing. On top of that, sure. Hey, right. they have another spell. Ah, well, I'm glad they sent that on its adventure rather than casting it as a creature in my way. Right. Hmm. So they can double block this, block that, go to three. Either way, they're going to go to three here, so let's do that. I'm assuming they're going to double block the two, three. Yep. It's fine. That dies. I take a point. Cast this. Pay the one. Put them to one. Well, they get to scry two, and then draw the card with their um, instant. Yep. Fifteen. Two, Belligerent of the Ball, Grabby Giant, sure. I was going to say, if they want to attack me, oh, perfect, Raid Bombardment. Well, that'll do it. Okay. Take that, Rhystic Study, you overhyped commander card. Granted, 
this was way different than how it works in Commander, where in Commander you can take a little more time and just pay the one. Here, it's like, yeah, draw all those cards, and I'm going to kill you before you get to deploy all of them. Um, yeah. I'm fine with this. Go get him, Spear Guard. If we could draw Impact Tremors for my next turn, so that way I can curve into Voracious Vermin. That'd be awesome. I'm assuming they're not blocking here. Yeah, I don't want to waste Candy Grapple on that, and I'd rather deploy more rats. Oh, that makes sense. They played a Scarecrow. I'd actually be surprised if they were only two colors, so... But they actually played their third land, like their third color in land, so... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, do they have a real creature I can kill with Candy Grapple? Yeah, okay. That will make their other thing a 3-2, though, so that's mildly annoying. But... I'll kill him anyway. One, pass the turn. That is the most regal of Scarecrows. And activate him. Make a different color. I'm assuming that's the manual tap is for the green, so that way they can filter it through him. Ah. Oh, they should have filtered one of the other colors through the Scarecrow if they wanted to do that, so that way they'd have more mana to work with. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. One more turn and I would have had the other thing up for that, so. Hey, well. This is where I wish I had the um, way to sack the recruiter so I could put it back into play mid combat and buff my team. <clears throat> That's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna need one of the cards that gets rid of that. Swamp was not it, in case you were wondering. Yeah, we'll cast the Rat Catchers instant at end of turn. Uh, Scream Puff's gonna just ruin me here. I'm behind on board and in the damage race. So. That's basically winning both of those situations at the same time. Yeah, I just take four. If I don't find one of the things I have in the deck that can actually kill Scream Puff real soon, there's going to be almost no way to win this game. To be fair, they've had two of the best cards in the set to deal with my deck in the adventure off of Shrouded Serp... Or Shrouded Spectre? Shrouded Shepherd. Into a giant body that gains some life. Uh, 
and now that's a 3-3, three, three, so that's in my way entirely. Like, I can't attack into it with my guys anymore without just losing them. And I drew another land. Okay. Pretty sure this game is now over. Like, there's nothing I could reasonably draw. I could kill Scream Puff and not deal any damage to them for the rest of the game. At this rate. My guys are terrible on blocks. I'm behind on the damage race. They have an absolutely massive creature attacking me every turn. Block there. Not dead after all. That dies. Comes back as a three power first strike attacker on my turn. So at least threatens to attack them for damage now. You know, if they didn't have a 5-4 in my way. Oh, Dream Spoilers, I needed you way back when they had one toughness creatures I could kill with all of my stuff. Or where I could have gone block block on the Scream Puff, cast the spell, finished off the Scream Puff. But yeah, no. That does not look like it's gonna go well for me. I was gonna say... <sighs> yeah, I kind of need the Scream Puff to stop attacking me. If they have anything, I'd probably just concede. I'll see my next card. But if the Scream Puff doesn't die and stay dead, if they also have not really dead here, or the... Um, make it indestructible, or kill one of my guys... Yeah, I'm ready to call this one done. Yeah. Five, six, seven, yeah. They have a lethal attack next turn if they want to just start jamming with everything, and I have one blocker, so... Hey. So that was a game where my opponent's deck was the type of thing I should lose to anyway, and they happened to have all the really good stuff, and my draw was not amazing, so... Like, if I had drawn perfectly that game, that still would have been an uphill battle. Against what they had. So... Hey, anyway, seems fine. We have a curve. Could really use one of my two enchanting tails enchantments. Make this extra vicious against the opponent, but Welcome to the neighborhood. They would like a cookie. Hey. Right. Yeah, 
I guess you still put it there. Um, activate that. For three. Let's turn back. Yeah, we're gonna have to candy grapple that one. That one's gonna need to die real bad. Hopefully they attack me for three here. Perfect. Now I don't have to spend the mana to make my thing unblockable. Hey. Right. six points of life gain stocked up though, so might run into problems eventually, but right this second <sighs> yep, he did Okay. I take four. Cast that. Attack them for two. going to be really close, but I think we have it. So, bring back one of the... Bring back the Daredevil to their hand. And exile my graveyard. Yep, okay. I did miss that she's allowed to do all of her things. I take it. Ah, they didn't cast it, though. Hey. Unfortunately, the Immodane's Recruiter doesn't actually attack into the Sentinel anymore, so that's kind of disappointing. But we do get to hit them for seven. Let's go seven. Seven seems like a good number. That'll keep them on the back foot a little longer. So three, four, five, six, seven. If they can get another non land permanent to play, that's eight. Down to three. But that requires them to attack with all their stuff. I could really use my witches just to give the Barrow Naughty lifelink at this point. Or I'm sorry, they're not witches in this set. Spell. Oh! Oh, 
Well, that's a problem. Hey. Um. Hmm. I can bargain away the thing off of the naughty to look more cards deeper. I'm gonna go to seven here when I do this. Yeah, I think I have to bargain. Deal them the one damage, though, so it's only lost for future turns. Um, put up to two of these into your library. Oh, I don't have to put any of them on top. Um, view battlefield. <sighs> Alright, so... If I take the ride the rails and attack with everything... That's two points getting through. I think I have them. Oh, wait, no, they gain three life. Yeah, I think I have to send them all to the graveyard then. <sighs> oh, Impact Tremors, you are way too tardy to this party. Right. Go back up to seven. I have to chump the dragon and still take upwards of three damage down to four. Yeah, I think I just have to pass the turn here. Real close. Actually, if they just attack with the dragon, I can take it, right? Hmm. That will trigger that guy, giving him trample also. Yeah, this is rough. Just him. They have three blockers right now, and they'll be able to play one more creature, so four blockers. <sighs> they'll be at five. Blocking this doesn't actually help. If I block with this now, though, it deals them an extra point down to six. So six, five, four... But I think I definitely do that. At the very least. Yeah, okay. Down to six. They cast him down. Ah, mountain was not what I needed here. Alright, so they block there. Um, block, block, go to five, four, three. Hmm. Hey, right, I have to hope they mess up then. Yeah. They're not going to. Nope. Ah, uh, they gained just enough life for me to not be able to kill them here.
Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Four, yeah. Okay. Uh, I needed them to not block the fairy. Technically, what I needed was another removal spell. Uh, for the dragon, so I could get through in the air for damage. Also, so I could threaten to kill the dragon in response to the pump spell. I used to play poker a lot. Like, back in the early 2000s during the big poker boom. Not so much anymore. Hey, opponent goes first. My hand's very aggressive, and I have card draw, so I can burn my first couple turns attacking them. Okay. I was gonna say, do they have? Do they want to send the thing on its adventure, make a food? We play this one first, because then I can pay the one to make it unblockable and cast the Spear Guard next turn if I need to. Or just play the Spear Guard. I swear to god, if they actually have the- okay. If they have the Mythic White enchantment, I'm gonna be so angry there, because I lose my guy and everything goes sideways after that, because that thing is just- the most ridiculous card in the set, I think. Alright. Okay. So... Yeah, easy attack first, see what they do. Because there was a pause before, so they might actually have something here. This way Witchstalker Frenzy is cheap enough. I can cast it on their thing. Elon's Light Blade. Yeah, okay, we got him. That's fine. I guess we can Grim Search at the end of their turn. They don't need to know I'm tapped out. Ferocious Werefox. Yep. Lose two, draw two. Mm. It is kind of underwhelming to just kill their four, three, and attack them for one, though. But that's all I can do with my mana, so. Hmm. That's a bit better. You like to sacrifice your 3-3? If they sack this and get the Billy Goats, I'm also going to be very frustrated and angry right now. Because this would be... Ah, Goose Mother... Oh, into their island too. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Must be nice. <clears throat> it's fine. Still have this one, just not as well as I would have liked to have had it up until this point. Goodbye, Goose Mother. Yeah, unfortunately that gave them six life. Yes, give my creatures plus two, plus two until end of turn. Okay. Uh, if only I had the one thing that would actually punish that. Alright, Vermin's gonna go for a little trip. Bye, Vermin. See you when you get back. Alright, so we cast this. Cast him. He buffs both of my creatures, but not enough that the raid bombardment won't fail to trigger now. He himself will not trigger Raid Bombardment anymore, because he gets plus one power, but that's fine. 
This is nine damage if they don't have anything. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is all good. I do need to draw, like, one more piece of interaction, it feels like, or I'm going to be in trouble. Hey. Right. Because they still have six life over there they can gain, so I need, like, one more aggressive creature or something. Or a way to get a problematic card out of the way. Yeah, they're just going to eat now before I kill them. <clears throat> That'll work. Hey, what's the last card in your hand and the card off the top? Let's see if either of them are good enough to stop what's happening to them. Yeah! Get rid of the raid bombardment. Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? And they actually hit a creature. And now they're going to make it big enough to kill the edge wall pack. Wonderful. No, that's great. Why can't I draw like this? Like, ever. <laughs> oh my god. Killed my enchantment so I can't deal them extra damage. Kill all of my good creatures. Uh, I know I have drawn that well many a time, but that is super frustrating. And now I drew another land. Whatever. This is my third loss. Because I think this is my third loss. It's definitely my second if it's not my third. And it's almost absolutely going to be a loss if I don't draw super well in the next couple draw steps. Like, I'm just giving them forever and a year to get back into this game. Well, they killed what I would think would be the wrong one. Because that just gives me another body. So. Alright, that is not the worst. Unfortunately, it's not helping right this second. It does kill one of their creatures, but I'm going to need some more. That's just another creature in my way. In and of itself, not a problem, but... Yeah, I absolutely take damage here. Thank you. So I could kill both of their creatures and put them to four. That seems a little loose, though. They're not really threatening me with... Like, these things are not a huge problem. I just need one of my bigger creatures. Alright, that thing jumping up to a 4-4 four four is going to be an issue, though, so I will go ahead and kill it now. Or, I'm sorry, a 5-4. More land is the worst thing I could possibly draw here. This is why I love the um, artifact, by the way, the treasure vault. If I had that instead of Grim Search, I'd be doing a million times better right now. Mm, yeah, gotta kill that one now. That would give it plus four, plus four, making it a six, six trampler. Yeah. Oh my god, if I actually had the enchantment, I'd be doing so well right now. Or the artifact, rather, it's not an enchantment, it's an artifact. If I could just loot all these lands away, I'd be like five cards deeper in my deck than I would have been with just the draw two. I will take the four here and hope to find something. Hey. So, wicked roll on one of the rats attack with all of them. They can block one of them, but they take three down to four to do that. Cast her. Alright. Yeah, I can play another land. That's fine. 
That probably means Sir Armont doesn't attack me if they don't have another creature to follow it up with anymore, but... Okay. Alright. We're through the land pocket now, and we're starting to get relevant spells, and they're a low enough life total, so... Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Please attack me. No? Okay. Alright, so... Block, block, take two, three, four. Yep, okay. I was doing the math, but they also were doing the math. Okay. It's possible I should have cast the trainee on my turn then. Because if they have had a creature, they wouldn't have died there. But that does give them a way to kill them with sorcery speed removal. Whereas I might have been able to... If they killed my stuff, they would have taken one from the wicked roll... And then maybe attacked me. <clears throat> and then I get to flash in two more and put them to one. With three lethal threats after that. Hmm. The opponent mulligan, but my hand's on the weaker side. <clears throat> Alright, slow start from them. I'll lead with the Spear Guard this time. Normally I'd lead with the Ginger Brute, but this way I can play the Barrow Naughty on two, and then make the two rats on three. Assuming I don't draw, like, Impact Tremors and want to get that down first, so I can start chaining everything together. Alright, two islands. One, play the naughty. If they have a counter spell for it, yeah, it's fine. That is not the spell I'm worried about having countered out of all of my spells. <laughs> Ugh, and I drew another land. Yeah, that's going to draw them a bunch of extra cards. It's going to draw them two, assuming they can't put counters on it with anything else. Oh, they didn't draw with it. Okay. No, I am one million percent okay with them playing out a three mana two three. Definitely didn't need to draw more land, though. Alright. I don't mind losing one of these to the... Protégé. Or Prodigy. I would gladly trade either of them for the... Other one. Oh, I did miss a point of damage there. I could have played the Ginger Brute and attacked with it and made it unblockable. I'm thinking of her... I always think of her as a three-mana spell. Alright, they are drawing now, which is weird, because now I have a two-power first striker. They gonna be mean to the rat catcher while they're at it? Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Oh my god. Do I have too much land in this deck? This is the second game in a row I've just flooded out super hard. They have the minus four, minus zero. Yeah, they have the minus four, minus zero. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Alright. I lose two of my creatures there to deal them two points of damage. 
And then they're going to have a 3-4 in my way. They're only at 14, too. It's not like I'm winning this race or anything. Also, it's a 5-drop. It's going to, like, ratchet up their 2-1. Okay. I'd rather have played the 3-4 and buffed up my creature, but that's just me. <laughs> okay, Arena. Whatever. Yeah, I shouldn't have even been able to have the option to hold this guy back to block, so... Like, they should have already played a big thing to get in my way. And then gotten rid of my gingerbread man on a subsequent turn while it was tapped. Like, they could have attacked me while it was tapped. And then gotten rid of either of my creatures doesn't super matter. Yeah. Oh, are they mi They are missing their fifth land. I thought they had five mana already. Alright, never mind. I still hate my chances, but... Nah. Nah, it's just throwing that thing away. I can block with it instead. And get a 1-1 one -one and buff my vermin up to a 3-2. So maybe this holds off their ground, guys, if they don't have their fifth land. They're probably really frustrated they don't have their fifth land yet. They probably don't even realize how badly they're beating me right now. It would be worse if they had their fifth land. I'd be absolutely annihilated, but... Yeah... Yeah, it's just a two-turn air clock. I'm willing to concede to that. Alright. I need to double-check my deck. Maybe my curve is low enough that I'm just running one too many land and I can drop one for the vault or something. If I still have a game to play. No, that was the third loss. So let's take a look at this deck, because... I was thinking that I had a higher end than I do, but yeah, most of my stuff is four. I probably could have cut a land and added the vault in. Or the other raid bombardment for more consistent damage. Hey, right. Oh, that's disappointing, because I probably could have gotten the three wins at least. Hey, right. give me a minute. I'll be back. We'll do another one.